Look, most points in December by Magic Rookies. 19.5 for Enns Wagner 2021, and then Shaq in 1992 at 20.6, which is honestly impressive for... For Enns Wagner, was a lot more impressive than I thought he was going to be in the NBA. I thought he was going to be maybe a bit of a, more of a role player, but he's been scoring a lot, and I think he's been out playing Jalen Suggs lately in general, and scoring a lot more points than he has. And I think he's going to be a big contribution to the Orlando Magic. Maybe in a couple years, if they can get the right pieces around them, they can be a good young team. But right now, I don't think they're very, that very good. So I don't really know what's going to happen with that. What do you guys think about this? The final score of the Raptors versus the Knicks game was 120 Raptors to 105 Knicks. Fred Van Vliet had 35 points, 5 rebounds, 11 of 17 from field goal. And Pascal Siakam had 20 points, 14 rebounds, and 7 assists. Honestly, the Raptors have been okay this season. I don't really know how good they're going to be in general. And I don't really know what they really need to add. Scotty Barnes was a good addition. If he can keep improving, he's definitely going to be an all-star one day. So maybe that's about it. I feel like if he keep, a lot of players like Kevin Durant have been praising him for his scoring and how good he is. So if he can eventually get an all-star level, which I think he can... They're going to be good in a couple of years. Giddy became the youngest player in NBA history to record a triple-double, which this is honestly impressive. I'm pretty sure who had it before him was actually Lamelo Ball, but he had 17 points, 14 assists, and 13 rebounds, but they still lost the game in the Magic, 95-86. to 86. And honestly, Josh Giddy, he was a lot more good I thought than he thought it was going to be. What do you guys think about the Thunder this year? And I don't know, they've got some a couple of wins against some teams. Like the Lakers, they'd be in the Lakers, but the Lakers haven't been that consistent. But I feel like maybe in a couple of years they could be a good team, but I'm not really sure.